together. How are you feeling having a different timeline this year compared to last year? Um, Starting later and focusing on August and July. Yeah, it feels a lot better because like last year everything was like such a surprise and like we didn't know how to plan for it. So now that we're able to plan for it and like hit the target time that which like each point that we want to is really good and really amazing to see. A certain meet you're focusing on trying to peak for? Um, definitely Olympics and U20s. Those are the big meets that I'm worried about right now. So I'm just looking forward to like training for those meets and like being able to attend the Olympics at 18. Yes, that's what I What type of effort do you do on these 100 meter strategy oh. spikes? Like 90%. Get the body moving before the warm up. Well, the workout. <laughs> so it's like the cherry on top, basically. Yeah. Before we start. How are you feeling? It's the top of the foot. It's like I rolled my foot. It feels like what? Like you rolled it? Does it feel unstable? Yeah, a little bit. How much pain is it? So it's pretty painful. Yeah. Now talk to me. Talk to me. So you we went through. You were going to do pre meet with some blocks. You're going to do three to four starts. I can try. Try. You sure? Do you think you should do another long run? Probably not. Okay, I mean, you can set up. I want to make sure we're doing what you need to do today to be ready for the weekend. So, sometimes if we're right, we can switch to something else. I'm not overly, I'm not overly concerned. You got to fly on you. Ah! You! I thought it was going to fly away. <laughs> Just kill the fly. See? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> it's just, oh, it is a... Deja. Huh? Do you have your other spikes? Which ones? The orange ones or the white ones? Yeah, they're in my bag. There might be more cushion than this one. Yeah, I was gonna. Why don't we try and wear the more cushion spike and see? <laughs> I didn't know I was that. You were a certified ninja. Hey. I thought the fly was gonna fly away. So obviously she's dealing with a little foot thing. So is right. there any adjustments you're making or what are you kind of looking for just to make sure that? She's an aggravated mom. Right, so she's going to put on her um, new balance mid-distance spikes, a little bit more cushion to see if that's better. These spikes are very low profile that she's been wearing the last few weeks, and so the feet have to take some adjustments. Um, in general, Adeja had really stiff feet, um, so we've been trying to kind of make them a little bit more malleable with different exercises, and it's changing and getting better slowly. Just do a stand and start build up. Let me see how it feels in here. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. Okay.
Okay. So this spike is softer and a little bit more bouncy, has more foam than the one that she was wearing. Uh, the, the one that she wore the first time is almost like straight carbon fiber with very little foam. So it's a little bit unforgiving from a shock absorption standpoint. Uh, typically, a Deja will wear that if she's doing like a 400 or 4x4. Four four. Um, I like it for training especially because it's closer to a trainer. Uh, so sometimes I'll, I'll make her wear it, but uh, otherwise she likes the super light carbon fiber. How is that? Okay. I like these. Yeah, they're much more cushioned, yeah. right? I would say it might be a good idea for us to train in these from now on. I can, we can get you more pairs of this one mm -hmm. and then race in the other one. Okay. Yeah, because you just feel weird about it. I like, I like it. Right. It's, it's a long year as well, right? So we have to make sure that we can protect the money makers yeah. as much as possible. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, I can do blocks. My foot. In the block? Yeah. Even with that pad? Now, I might need to put more of your toes on the ground. I want you to, I, I, much as I hate it, I want to see your shoulders a little bit more horizontal. You see how you're too erect with the chest? Mm -hmm. I want your shoulders a little bit more over the toes, not so upright. Okay. Okay? Does that make sense? So if you come in here, see how your chest goes? Your chest does a good job of coming up so your hips can go forward, uh -huh. right? But I wonder if you can get more momentum horizontally like, right if you go more horizontal, mm -hmm. right? So your shoulders here, they start going horizontal, then they go vertical. Yeah. Right? So from the beginning, right, you're trying to project horizontally, right? Not necessarily bending at the waist, but you go two up. Uh -huh. It's good for your hips to come through, right? But now your momentum is going up here. Okay. Right? So I want you to exaggerate a little bit more for the sake of practice. I'm going to lead with the top of my head, my shoulders more. I'm going to go this way. Right? But you have to be able to create the necessary separation so you don't bend at the waist. Okay, you're strong enough to do that for sure. So do you see that you're not even at the bottom of your pad? Uh -huh. You're trying to do a soft power with your feet up high. Because of the way the spike is curved, yeah. you're going to slide down. Because when you're trying to load through your ankle, the small titanium pins are going to lift up. They're not that long, so you're going to slide. Oh. Right? So what you have to do is, with these spikes, you can't put your foot all the way up here. Right? If I'm going to load up, I'm going to have more of my toe on the ground. So when I go in the set position, my toes are on the ground. Okay. If I go up here and I go up back this way, I'm going to slide. Yeah. Okay? The spike pins are not long enough in these for that. The shoulders forward. See it? You say you felt like you were falling? Yeah. Yeah, you are falling. Your first step is always the problem, right? So you're here, set position is fine. You're going forward, look at your foot. You see how it's curled up too high? Mm -hmm. And then it's just going to fall. You, see how, you haven't really gone anywhere, right? Yeah. But you see how it uncoiled at the last minute? Mm -hmm. So what's happening is you're pushing and at the last minute you're stabbing your foot, right? You say, oh, my toe hurts. Well, yeah, because you're stabbing your foot into the ground, right? And how much of toe pain happens because I stabbed my foot and my toes went and jammed into the end of my shoe, Yeah. right? You have to open up, finish the movement and attack down and back, right? But you're not creating the space to attack down and back because you're falling and stabbing your foot, right? So we got to be here. Give me a bigger high knee to the front and hit the ground. Move your chin out of the way. 
if you hit yourself in the chin, then you went too far with the knee. I don't think you're going to go that far. Let's see what happens, though. I'll record it. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Christmas. Merry Christmas. One of my favorite athletes. I dare your heart. Ding! Put it on a card. So getting the block and do a practice on where you're just opening up, you have to be able to open up the hip so you can attack down and back. Now, first step a little, a little premature. What are you feeling when you're running? Okay. It's... <clears throat> so, put your legs on the block. I'll post you up. Okay, bring your legs through. Where, where do you think it's coming through? Do you feel like you're doing that? Yes. That's not what you're doing. Oh. I have video evidence. Now, you know that's not what you're doing, though, because you've seen the video, right? Right. But it feels like that. Right. So it could be a timing issue. If all of this starts moving, right, and this lags behind, when these things are in the right spot, you're like, oh, it's time to attack. Well, no, you came late. You, you, start, you entered the party late, right? You need a little bit more time, right? So part of what I have to figure out is sometimes do you end up popping up to erect here with the shoulders because you're trying to buy more time for this leg to catch up and then attack. Right, but now I'm asking you to block here. This leg is not quite there yet. So then you have to move this back pad through faster. Right, so pull that leg through faster. You have to punch the back block and get up. Let me see a practice one. Come on, pull it through fast. How is that? How was that? Huh? You brought it through faster. I feel like you need to bring it through a little bit for it though still. Okay. Right? And, yes. Okay. Go faster and more. Yes. That's a good thing to do. Yes. I would I would rather re-emphasize on the faster than the more. Okay? Uh, next Monday we have uh, sled pulls with uh, when we do blocks. So that will allow us to buy more time to be able to get through and fill some positions a little differently, okay? All I want to see is you attacking the ground down and back powerfully, okay? Don't stab the toe, so go down and back. See it? Hop! Better! She has a tendency to kind of fall on the first step. what I'm looking for. Can you see the video? Yep. So, a little bit. Sometimes she starts to use her hamstring a little bit so you can tell she's really coiled here. When she gets to this position here, what I should see is that her, attack, her foot at the front should go down and backwards. But she ends up falling forward in front of herself. See, she's very toey there. Yep. That's the toe. She says, oh, my, my toes hurt. Well, yeah, you're stabbing your ground. What we want to see is knees together at contact. So what's happened is she ended up falling forward and she left her back knee. Now she's on the ground waiting, right? Her toes are loaded. When she gets here, now she can push, right? And then from there, what you see is she's attacking down her back. Now she's together at contact, right? So the first step is always what gets her. After the first step, she's really, really good. You can see how toey you are, Yeah. right? So your toes are going to be screaming in there because you just fell, right? Moving really, really fast. So what we have to problem solve is how can I get Adesia to pull the leg through? I want the ankle, I want your feet to cross a little bit more. Right now you're crossing over the knee, right? I need to be a little bit Lower? closer to the feet. So you cross a little bit high. Yeah, I see it like when I push, I pick it up a little bit. Right. For 200, you can get away with that. Mm -hmm. Right, world class 100, yeah. it depends, right? You're very good from the second step. It's that first step where you're picking it up and you're falling. So it's not even that you're picking it up, right? It's you're picking it up and you're falling rather than picking it up and attacking the ground, mm -hmm. right? Shelly picks up her leg, but she attacks down and back, right? So I'm not saying that you can't do that, right? But if you want to run 1060, you got to be able to pick it up and still be able to attack down.
right? You want to end there? Yeah. Hey, let's stop right there.